Yo, what is up, you guys? We are back with some more Ruby Volume 5. So we are back. The whole gang is here. We learned some more Ozbin good lore. And not gonna lie, I think Ozbin's kind of a fucking idiot. I just, I, I just, I, I now I have a change of perspective. I think he's really dumb. He should just kill Salem a long time ago. If he had all that damn power. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, who the hell just gives out power like that? And just like, you know what? Whatever. You know, he must have lost a fight or something with Salem. I don't know. Maybe he lost. Maybe he maybe he lost. I don't know. Uh, it, I, who knows, man? There's there's so much lore to this uh, show. We're gonna get right into it though. I skipped the intro. I'm sorry, y'all. Not really. I keep saying I'm sorry, but I'm really not because I do it anyways. Ooh, music is nice. I thought that was crow for a second. Every time I see a bird, I think it's crow. <laughs> or or Raven now. Either or. You're up early. But none of those are crows. It's just other birds. <laughs> what are you doing up? Can't fall back asleep. Something my sister would do. Uh, me neither. Well, fortunately, coffee exists. Don't worry, I put in blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. Oh yeah, nice way strikes again. I will pour this on you and it will burn. Oh my god. <laughs> well, can't believe we're actually in Mistral. That doesn't change that much. Believe. Well, yeah, and all the other magic and stuff. But okay, you know what I mean. I honestly wasn't sure if I'd ever see you two again. Well, here's to defying expectations. Ruby's almost done. I just wish Blake could be here with us. Yeah, well, she made her choice. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. It's no big deal, though. Mm. You fine? Still some animosity. Don't you want her here? Why would I want her here? Are you still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby. No, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Oh. Whoa. Yang. Yang. Yeah. You kind of up here. <laughs> down there a little bit. Whatever. I don't blame her though. That's the one thing I did hate about Blake. Like, she would just leave and just not say anything. Hey, Blake! You ready to go? Be right there. Is she about to do it again? No fucking shot. She is. Oh my fucking god, dude. That's annoying. That's actually kind of annoying. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Okay. That's Ilya. So I think I mentioned, okay, I was, like, I was like, dude, come on. <laughs> we going recruiting or what? Wait, I didn't read what it said, my bad. Uh, things going to uh, far, not sure what to do. Find a quiet spot, I'll find you. Come alone, please. I don't know if this is a setup or making sure she's safe. I guess she is, at least he's warning her that things are gonna happen to Menagerie. We going recruiting or what? We've got the entire nocturnal section to hit up. They're trying to recruit people still? They're getting rejected okay. multiple times? Yeah, I'll meet you there. I need to take care of something first. I wouldn't even see the point at that point. I was like, eh. Getting rejected that much? Hell no. I'm good, bro. Is she hiding in the trees? She is hiding in the trees. Fucking raccoon. Might as well be a monkey. I swear to God, it's not me being racist. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Look, Ruby, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? Can you just leave me alone for a bit? Oh. Hey, Weiss. Did you need something? I 
I know she's our teammate, but I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just, I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family, recitals to perform at, dinners to attend. I didn't have any of that. My mom left me. Ruby's mom left too. Ty was always busy with school and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together, alone. Yeah, that's stressful. Weiss, if you have something to say, then say it. That makes a lot more sense. So she, so yeah, because she's more of a family person. Because like she's always like, if so, if anything happens, like you know, you would say something because we're a family. Like we're supposed to be a family. We're supposed to be friends. So she gets the impression from Blake. It's like, damn, like, are you really, do you don't fuck with us like that? Like, do you not trust us at all? Like, like, what is this? It was kind of the same issue from like first season. So I can understand why she's feeling this way. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. Oh, well, that wasn't a secret. It was actually on my birthday. Jesus fucking Christ. He missed Christ. the big dinner. She got mad. He finally snapped. I think she already knew. Looking back, I think I knew too. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. That's fucked up. First, it was separate lunches and dinners. Opposite balconies at my recitals. A glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. <sighs> then it was no dinners, no recitals. A bottle of wine here and... Well, you get the idea. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. You're right, though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And I'll bet Blake has her own version, too. She doesn't have to be alone, though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. Why do you think she did that? Hmm? She didn't want you guys to get hurt. The entire time again. Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. Yeah. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. Yep. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. How could I be there for her if she doesn't let me? To be fair, though, she wouldn't have known that because they, she didn't even think Adam would even go that far to team with them. Like, she knew it was changing, but she didn't know the fact that they would go that far to be a beacon. Like, I remember, like, in first season, she was surprised that Adam was even there. So she didn't even think Adam was going to be there or go that far. So I don't know. Like, I, I understand both sides. I'm not, I'm not going to be on any side. I understand both sides. What if I needed her here for me? Oh, damn. I know it's not easy. I wish she hadn't left too. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. If she comes back. She will. Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake, or more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three. And I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So when she's ready, I'll be there for her. <sighs> and I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. Is, uh, everything okay? Yeah, it is. <sighs> I'm glad she has Weiss around. Because with Ruby, she wouldn't have talked to her, like, at all. <laughs> Ilya? I'm here. Damn. She black as hell. 
Okay, never mind. She's not white. Ilya, I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. I'm sorry. What? You can make it up to me by helping us stop Corsican Fennec. No, she set her up. No. I'm sorry. She has a weapon for a reason. Someone was there. <gasps> Wait. Ew. I've got her. Yeah, was it done, Webs? And to you, Willia. Oh, shot, bro. Ilya! What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way. But you and your family are holding the Faunus back. Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? The same one as you. There's no such thing as innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us. There's the humans that still hate the Faunus, and there's the others who stand by and let the hate happen. <sighs> you know what snuffs out hate? Fear. Well. I don't like hurting people. Honest are shambles right now. It's gotten us results. Yeah. Look where it's gotten you. Hey, killing your own friend. Like, it's kind of crazy. Well, you're about to we kill your own friend. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. No matter how much it hurts. That's wild. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? No. But getting rid of your family is. You wouldn't. You can't! I won't let you! I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. Ilya, please! You don't have to do this! This isn't you! Yes, it is. I don't like her. back then, you were just too busy falling for Adam to notice. Somebody could please kill this bitch. The way you looked at him. What? I wanted you to look at me that way. The fuck? But we can't always get what we want. Eh, somebody kill this bitch. Yuma, with me. <sighs> get her to the docks. I guess okay. It's okay to be gay. We don't have to be that gay, okay? Let's go, Trader. That's the point we want to kill somebody. No! Huh? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, son. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. You okay? No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Come on, Mom. Pick up. That's probably our scrapping right now. Yep. Damn. Mama, no. Oof. I believe it's time our dear chieftain stepped down, brother. Yes, brother. I'm afraid I'm inclined to agree. Fucking clowns, man. <laughs> yep. Damn. 
want to do a double reaction, bro. I'm not going to lie. Oh, damn. All right. Well, I'll save that for another episode. Yes, sir, bro. So Menagerie is... I think it's kind of almost concluding at this point, which I'm kind of glad because, like, you know, I kind of wanted to conclude from this point, you know. <laughs> not that I didn't like it. I just wanted to... I just wanted to see some, like, results within, like, the whole Faunus thing and stuff. But... There's no results. It's getting a lot worse. <laughs> it's getting much worse. And the family's getting attacked. I really hope no one dies, especially the mom. I don't, I don't want nobody to die, you know? And like, I, you know, get attached to these characters, and, you know, they really care about them, you know, kind of weirdly. Not like Twitter attached, because Twitter attached is weird. Like, not like Honkai Star Wars level attached or Genshin Impact attached. Just, you know, normal attachment to the characters. <laughs> it's like, not like those weirdos. No. <laughs> oh my lord man bro so yeah i could kind of see where yang's coming from you know you know she left and didn't say anything you know blake just just keeps leaving but i feel like i understand blake too because she doesn't want to hurt anybody with her you know her past ties and like her just her past in general and adam is just this freaking plague of a curse that she has i mean hell she she he even wants him back i mean like adam even wants her back in the group or at least forcing her to be back in the group just for love interest and apparently Ilya wasn't uh, had a thing for Blake or I guess wanted to look at Blake the same way like with the same acknowledgement I'm assuming which I don't know what that means like maybe she wanted her to be like feel like she was like wanted to see her as like a proud leader or some kind or like something of something i don't know i don't know maybe just some acknowledgement from her is what i'm assuming either or it's love or whatever but i'm gonna head out i'm gonna see y'all later if you're a member you'll probably see this early hopefully i'll see you later